Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is the fourth video as part of our series of videos on latest tally release 5.0. Starting this video, I will be now covering multiple videos on the major feature that has been provided in release 5.0 is the connected GST feature. So we will see what are the connected GST features that Tally provides in the latest release 5.0 and how these features can be so impactful for your organization that you will be 100% GST compliance with simplicity of technology that Tally provides and also file your returns or be compliant for GST on a timely basis. So let us dive into Tally and explore the wonderful features of connected GST. For us to avail the connected GST experience through Tally Prime, we have to log into our GST portal. We can log in right from Tally Prime itself. All you need to do is click on the exchange here, click here and select GST login and log out. So when you click here, you get this message. The message says the GST username is not specified in the GST registration of whichever state registration since Tally supports multi-state GST registration in one single company, which you are aware I have covered that in my GST playlist. The option it says, do you want to update GST username? When you press enter, it will ask you for the GST username. Now, every time if you want to connect to GST, you will have to specify the username. Instead, you can specify the username once under GST enablement option from F11 feature. How do we do that? Just escape. Don't specify the name here. Just escape and we click on F11 feature. Under taxation, we have enabled GST. We have already enabled GST. So come here, press enter. Here you have connected GST detail, GST username, we have not specified here, we can now specify here. Now I am going to use my company's credential here so that I can show you couple of things live from my company's data, how we can make use of this connected environment. So I am going to enter my GST login username, enter and now the mode of filing, basically we can select whether you are using the DSC mode for filing your GST returns or EVC mode. Now this is going to be helpful since Tally from release 5 onwards allows the user to upload their GSTR1 directly from Tally Prime itself. So I'm going to select EVC and that's all you have to mention here. Just save this control A and save the feature again press control A. Now this time when we click on exchange and click on GST login you will get this message press S or enter to send an OTP to your registered mobile number and email address for GST user's name, my company's name and the GST registration number. So when I click on send OTP, the OTP will now come to the registered mobile number and the registered email ID. I have received the OTP on my mobile. It is 547588. Enter. And now we get this message GST session logged in successfully. Now I am connected to my GST portal and all GST related activity which Tally provides in release 5.0, we can perform those GST related compliance activity from Tally Prime itself. So the first thing in this video as part one of our GST connected features of release 5.0, we will see that how you can create a ledger master in Tally Prime just by specifying the GSTN of the party, Tally will now go and fetch the detail of the party master from GST along with their address and the nature of business and every detail, we will get it from the GST portal. So let us now try and create a new ledger master and see how the GST connected environment helps us in creating the master. Apart from creation of master, there are other things that we can view and verify through the GST portal data or information. So let us say I want to create a ledger master. I have made a purchase through Amazon, an item, and now I have to create the ledger master of this particular party. With the help of connected GST, we will see how are we going to create the ledger master and see 
other critical information about this particular vendor this is the vendor master detail in fact i have just copied the address from the amazon's invoice let us create this party so i go to create ledger and now if you notice here on the right hand side button bar you have this button which says fetch details using gstin slash uin when i click here all you have to do now is just type the parties gstin so the parties gstin is here so i am going to just enter the parties gstin as we are aware tally will also validate whether the gstin of this 15 digit whether we have captured properly so the moment you press enter now tally goes to the portal and then fetches the detail of this information now if you see here the party invoice says praveen sharma so which is a proprietary company so we are aware that once you register as a proprietor company the pan of the individual is captured so the registration name is going to be praveen sharma but whereas this person's business name could be different or trade name could be different so now if you see here the fonts we see in blue is the information and if you see here the legal name of this person is praveen sharma the trade name is falcon enterprises and now very important if you see here this person is a regular dealer but is gstin is suspended which means whatever purchases i have made from this person i will account my inward supply which will show my eligible input tax credit now since this person's gstin is suspended he is not going to file his return which means i am at loss of the input tax amount which this person is charged so this party is suspended now this is where you know basically you can capture this as per book and apart from that if you see here again on the right hand side you have this button called filing history when you click on filing history now you will get this history of this particular party so you will notice here that the e invoice status is not applicable for this person the constitution of business is proprietorship it gives the date of registration and the date of cancellation is 17th january 24 Okay. So if you see here, again, this is very important and very critical. The last six months history of their filing detail is provided here. This is the detail of GSTR 3B filing. So he's filed till December 23. And the detail of filing of GSTR 1 is specified here for the month. So January 24 is the last return he's filed. And now this party's account is suspended. So this way, whenever you create a party master, you can now with the connected environment feature that is provided in release 5.0 onwards, you can verify the party, check for their status of GST registration. And most importantly, you can check their filing history for the last six months. Now what you do? Let us say in case you want to account it, since you may have already made this purchase, I need to account probably i am going to lose the input tax credit which this person is charged me in his tax invoice now for me to save this as my ledger master so in the book the same information is captured along with the address pan state pin code registration type all i need to do is just press control a when i press control a you will now notice that automatically the company name has come and if you want to capture the legal name of this we saw that the invoice says Praveen Sharma you can do so by using the alias field and type the legal name here the business name is Falcon Enterprises and you have to save this before saving just make sure that your group is selected properly so first time when you go into ledger master creation by default tally will have the capital account as the group all you have to do is just come down here and type CRE you can select creditors and you can accept it this way it becomes very easy for you to capture complete information of the party master and also view their status of registration and their filing history let us take another party and see what is the status of this particular party i'll take another purchase from amazon this is another party master so let us specify the gstin and see the status of this party again we click on fetch details using gstin and here i am going to now specify the gstin of this party enter tally is picked up and this is the detail of the party 
and the status of this party is active now let us see the filing is now what is this update as per portal let us say you have already created a particular ledger master like this example in the earlier one pravin sharma we saw looking into the bill you would have created a party ledger called pravin sharma and now when you look here you see that the trade name is different and the legal name is different if you want to update this from the portal for your existing ledger then you can click on update as per portal tally will update the information modify or alter the information in your existing ledger with the gst portal information so that is why you have so when you require certain action to be done you can use update as per portal now let us view their filing history i'm click on filing history tally is going to gst and fetching it says that they are subject to e invoice their jurisdiction right their date of registration and the nature of principal place of business nature of business activity then nature of additional place of business all information is there and if you see here their last 6 months history of filing of gstr 3b they have filed on time even the gstr 1 is filed properly on time up to date they have filed the return so no risk of itc for me as far as this party is concerned as of now so you just have to press escape and if you have to create a new ledger all you have to do is just press control a and the new ledger will get captured you will notice here now since last time we have changed to sundry creditors it will remain as it is and the entire address is captured along with the state then pan number is also captured registration type and the gst all you have to do is just press control a in the next session we will learn how you can import bulk gst in which you can create in excel sheet and then create multiple masters at one go i hope the first connected environment that we witnessed the creation of ledger master more importantly the finding out of the parties gst registration status and also their filing history and it makes so easy and simple for us to quickly capture the actual data that is available on the gst portal into the company's ledger master becomes much easier so going forward we will see more connected environment that is available in latest release 5.0 so thank you all once again for staying till the end see you all in the next session Thank you very much.